to upload or update or create a product in Printify. So if you uh, look in our tutorial, you'll see this section called choose your endpoint. An endpoint is a specific action. So we say, you know, first open the API documentation page. So let's go ahead and open that link. And here on the menu on the left, you can see the actions that you can take. For example, there's actions for shops, there's actions for the catalog, there's actions for products, there's actions for orders, uploads, and events. So you're interested in taking actions related to products, so I'm going to click on products. And then here, what we can see is um, that what we can do with the product, hold on one second, let me get back here to products. So here what we can do with products is these, these are the actions right here. We can retrieve a list of products, retrieve a product, create a new product, update a product, delete a product, publish a product, set publish status to succeeded, set pu product publish status to failed, and notify that a product has been unpublished. So the one I believe is, is relevant to what you're interested in doing is this one, which is to create a new product. But there's also publish a product. So I don't use Printify, so I don't know exactly what the difference is between those two. But let's look at this one that says create a new product. So in our tutorial, the example that we show you is this one, which is to retrieve a list of shops. And you can see here that the method we selected uh, for this example is the get method. So we're getting, you know, a list of shops. We put this API URL in Epiphany and we choose the get method in Epiphany. And that's this right here, this method dropdown that says get. So the difference between that and this action or request is that we're using post. So um, a post request in Epiphany, um, what you're going to do in that little drop down that I just showed you, this one that says method, instead of choosing get, you're going to choose whatever it says right here. So in this case, it's post. So that's the first difference. And then the second difference is your API URL. So instead of putting this as uh, this as the end of your API URL, you're going to use this v1 slash shop slash shop ID slash products dot JSON. So that's what you're going to replace here. And then you're going to keep this the same, the headers, that's going to stay the same in Epiphany. So, so far the differences are the method, we're choosing post, we're changing the API URL, we're keeping the headers the same. And then the other thing to keep in mind is um, oops, okay, so the other thing to keep in mind is that posts requests have something called a body, and that's what this is right here. So you can see in this right here it says title product, description, ID, print provider, variants. What that is, is you sending information to Printify on the product that you want to create. So you a post request means sending data, you're posting data. Um, you're, you're telling Printify that you want to create a new product in this shop ID. Don't forget to change your shop ID. And then you're also copying and pasting this into the post body field. So when you change the method to post in Epiphany, a new field is going to show up called post body. So when you send data to an API, you attach what's called a body, which is basically what data you want the API to receive. And every uh, the body always starts with a parenthesis or a bracket and ends with a bracket. So you can see here it starts with a bracket, it ends with a bracket, and all you have to do is replace these uh, variables, the title, description, um, you can delete or add variants here. So yeah, go ahead and try it out. I hope that was inf enough information for you and let us know if you have any other questions. Have a good day.